Kisova is Shlishi, a short Aliyah. A lot of the Tanoim and Amiram, they all have this mitzvah, but they learn that from different places. He says, it says, Valalechas Pedroch of Togo and Hashem's ways. The Mara says that means to imitate Hashem. Now, Rachum, Afatahe, Rachum, now Chanan, now Malbusharumim, Koivimesim, all the different things that Hashem does, we're supposed to imitate Him. And then the last two psukim ends off as Hashem ha'marta ha'yoyim v'Hashem ha'mircha ha'yoyim. So Rashi is bothered by the lashon ha'marta and ha'mircha. It doesn't translate very well in the regular way of saying. So when you you say to Hashem, Hashem says to you. So He says it's a lashon of teferis, which means taking pride and glory. The kids in school, my father is stronger than your father. My father could beat up your father. So Hashem takes glory in Klal Yisrael. Mi ka'am Yisrael, and we say, who's like, who's like our God? So that's lotion of praise. The Targum Yushami says lotion of Malchus. We were Mamlech Hashem and Hashem is Mamlech Us. Taisevis Bracha explains it could be that it's a lotion Arabic. And Mircha, the king in Arab countries, is called the Emir. So you, uh, you can take it or you leave it. Just an example of that is an amazing Medrash in Vayikra Rabba that says when Shaul was at the end of his life, and this was after after Shmuel Hanavi died, and after he killed Noiv, the city of Kranim, so he couldn't ask the Urm the Tumim, and the, the Palishtim attacked Klal Yisrael. So he wasn't sure what should he do, should he go to war, should he not? So he went to a witch and he asked her to get in touch with Shmuel Hanavi who died. So it's a long story, but when he, she got in touch with Shmuel, so he asked Shmuel what should he do. So Shmuel told him, if you run away, you'll be saved. But if you go to war, you and your children, Khmun al will get killed in the war, but it'll be Mechat Ran and you're going to go straight to Ganeda and you'll be with me in Ganeda tomorrow. So he was petrified, trembling, he fell on his face, and his two generals who were with him, who didn't didn't see what was going on, Avner and Amosa, when he got when he stood up, he said, What did they asked him, what did Shmuel say? So Shmuel, so Shaul told them, he put on a strong face and he said, We're gonna go be successful, we're gonna win the war. And the next day he took his children, he went out to war, and he was killed. So when on when he was going out to war, the Major says, Ba'isa Shah Kara Kadish Burhu Malachi Ashara Sasham Kulul Malach and Vamalam Look, look at this creation that I created. That he's taking his kids to war and he knows he's going to be killed and he's been, he's been kabbling himself the Din Shemai and Ba'ava to be Mechabra and Kalah Yisrael. So this is Mesiris Nefesh. People think Mesiris Nefesh means you have to give up your life. You don't have to give up your life. So Taicho, the word Nefesh is Rotzayin. If a person's Moisei Ritzayin, he wants to do something and he doesn't. He wants to look over there and he doesn't. He sees something and he looks away. That's also Mesiris Nefesh. And Hashem does the same thing. He says, he calls them Alechem, look, look. Look what that guy did, look what he did. He's 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 being the kind my rotsan. And that takes us to Ravi.